everybody! If you are watching this video, then you are interested in learning more about how to complete the article review assignment. The first thing that you need to do is go to the syllabus and look over the section on the article review so you can see the specific guidelines for how to complete it. Then I would go to eLearn to content and there's a module called course documents there. In that course documents module, you will find a sample paper, uh, a sample APA paper to see how to cite sources in APA format. That's the kind of formatting you need to use for this article review. You'll also see a sample article review so you can see how to set up the different sections in the title page and the reference page. You'll see a rubric for how I'm going to grade the article review. Um, and then you'll also see a link called how to insert a running head. A running head is something that goes at the top of every page in an APA paper and if you follow the steps uh, as they're laid out then you should have no problems getting that running head in your written paper in your article review. So look through those things. Then the very last file in the course documents module is the article list. It's a zip file. So if you'll download it to your computer and open it up, you'll see a list of 10 articles there. Choose the one that you find most important or that you find most interesting, read through it, and then for the assignment, you're gonna write a two page paper that basically just tells me what the article is about. Um, when you write the article review, the first page should be a title page, and then the next two pages should consist of the meat of the document. The first section is the purpose of the article. In this section, you'll include two to three sentences that will give me just a general overview of what the article is about. So it's just a, a brief summary. In the next section, the key concepts, tenets, and findings, you're going to do several different things. One, you're going to define important terms. So let the reader know what um, the different terms are that you are discussing in your article review. Also, tell me what type of study it is. Is it an experimental study? Is it a case study? So tell me the type of research that uh, is being used in the article. What's the hypothesis or what's the educated guess that the researchers are making regarding their study that they are conducting? Um, who are the participants? How many people participated? How did they recruit participants? What method was used? Um, was it um, an experiment? Was it a case study? Uh, so give me some specifics about the type of method they used. Was it a survey? If so, who did they survey? What types of instruments did they use when they conducted the survey? Um, what were the results of the study? And then what uh, kind of discussion items did the researchers write about? So basically what conclusions did they draw from the research that they conducted? What new learning did they have as a result of conducting the study? Then the very last section, uh, that's called the most significant contributions to your understanding. You're going to give me about a paragraph that tells me what you learned as a result of reading the article. What did you learn that was important to you? How is that meaningful to you? Why do you think it matters? The very last page will be your reference page. On the reference page, you only need to list one reference, and that is the reference information for the article that you reviewed. Um, so the author information, the date it was published, and so on. If you need help with APA style, especially when it comes to the reference page, you can go to the OWL Purdue uh, website online. You can contact the Writing Lab here at Walter State. Jill Blonder is over the Writing Lab. Or you can contact me. I'm glad to help you as well. Um, if you have questions or concerns, please let me know. If I don't hear from you, I'll assume all is well and that you are uh, working away on the article review. Remember, if you score below 70%, you will have the opportunity to revise it and resubmit it. So um, my goal is to get all of you above that 70% mark. So good luck. Make sure you check your spelling and grammar. Um, and make sure that you don't copy anything word for word. Remember, that's plagiarism, and I do have the plagiarism detector in my computer to help me identify if you've copied. So write everything in your own words. But um, again, if you need help, if you have questions or concerns, let me know. Good luck with the assignment, and uh, I'll see you soon.